quick shout out to visit Bahrain that's visit Bahrain dot B H having taken several trips there I can tell you you really do want to visit Bahrain. Uh, we are all go here in the bottom weight division. Interesting Nicolau has competed primarily as a flyweight so it'll be interesting to see whether that that not having to cut those extra 10 pounds will be beneficial to him. Beautiful leg kick. He doesn't look small in there, Kirik. He doesn't look like an undersized bantamweight. You have two absolute buzzsaws with finishing ability. Not a whole ton of feeling out in this one. Fighters are very close to letting go. Yeah, both guys are in the pocket right now. Both with wide stances. There's that calf kick we know and respect so much. Every strike from Matthias Nicolau will be greeted with cheers for the young man from Belo Horizonte. Felipe just trying to cut off the cage now. Just a whisker away with those strikes. Felipe just shrugs him off as if to say, no, I'm having none of that. Like big brother saying to little brother, no, we're not doing this the way you want. Head kick and a slip. At our fighter hotel, I've been watching Felipe hit pads a little bit, and he was working a lot on slipping and throwing a counter straight. So it'll be interesting to see if that's something he implements in this fight. Felipe showing growing confidence now. Ate a couple of shots, but I feel like he believes he's got the measure of his opponent. The crowd absolutely energized any time. Nicolau lands something here. Big shot. Nice little check hook, yeah. Woo! Fires up a flying knee. That was gravity defying. And on the takedown, but how strong is Felipe Efrian in these exchanges? Has the bicep control, but he's eating a couple of knees to the midsection. Spinning back kick attempt. The danger of the spin and back kick attempt is if your opponent just steps to the side, you've essentially given them your back. And you feel a little dumb. <laughs> Having been there. See a little bit of red shading starting to appear on the lower leg of Felipe. Both men got caught oh. there. These guys are really starting to turn it up here in Belo Horizonte. Nicolau's got some ridiculous speed on him. He was in on the single, but right now, Felipe Efrien up against the cage. Can Efrien use that true bantamweight strength to disengage? Has a strong, strong overhook on his left side. Managed to pull him up, but he has not managed to reverse as yet. He may try and just sneak out the back and pop down that wizard. Needs to be wary of dipping the head low because a smart fighter like Nicolau will know that there's the potential for a knee just to pop that up the middle. Leaping hook from Nicolau. These guys are starting to turn it up a little bit, Carrick. I'm really liking the speed I'm seeing from Nicolau. He just darts forward and it's from nowhere and he actually seems to be getting just a little bit faster as he warms up during the round. 30 seconds to go in the first round here in the bantamweight division in a fight with potential number one contender implications. Ooh. Big kick. Again, wilting on the front leg of Nicolau there.
Ten seconds, Brave Nation. Again, very close round there, Kerry. Very close, very interesting round. Again, I can see it going either way. And I want to touch on the touch just momentarily on the split decision we had. I actually like split decisions because both fighters know at least one judge thought they won. I'm all for it. Crowd might not have been. Phil, can you walk us through what we're looking at here? You see, it was Woo! just a flying knee, and I think Felipe just managed to lift his head at the last minute, so he didn't absorb, or it just shaded past the side of the head. Not unlike Bubba Jenkins when he defended the, the featherweight title. Spin and attack from Felipe. Both men landed hands, but for me, it was all about the low calf kicks that they were throwing, all about the low calf kicks that they were landing. Those will be telling in the later rounds if it goes to the third round. Felipe oh. Efrian seems a little bit stronger in the grappling exchanges. It'll be interesting to see if that continues leading into our second round here. Speed's a tenuous thing, too. As a fighter's body gets fatigued, that speed can disappear. Right now, I am loving Mateus' speed. Both men with a hands high. Laser like focus and concentration on both of their faces. Oh! Catches him with the foot. Had that have been the Shen Felipe every end. Gives him a little high five as if to say, yeah, that was legit, man. Love that kind of mentality. Both men attempt the flying knees. I don't know that I ever saw that. Beautiful power double take time. But can he take him down and keep him down? No, hard to take a man down, harder to keep him. Beautiful take time, but even more beautiful work to get up from Felipe Efrain right there. Very, very impressive moment, and it may give him confidence to move forward a little bit more purposefully than if he was worried about getting taken down. So if he gets taken down, looks like he can pop back up again. Both men just trying to find the gap. Good attack, good defense. Again, good attack, good defense. Both men are quality, quality Brazilian jiu-jitsu players. A brown belt and a black belt respectively, but neither man seems to have any interest. Great shot to the body. Phil, how'd you like that? Liver shot that and a, looking for a shot behind the ear. That speed is incredible. And then again to the body, it's it's going to the body, going to the head, mixing up the attacks that's so intelligent and quite impressive to see right now, Kirk. I'm loving Nicolau's game at the moment. That hand speed is something to behold. Well, both men are definitely landing on each other, but they're wearing it well. In the exchanges, you can see Felipe Efrian keeps that right hand pinned to his chin when he's in the pocket. Is Nicolau in on a single? Yes, he is. Can he but keep can Felipe he Efrian? hold him? Or can he take the back on the stand-up? Looking hard. We may be looking at the broomstick takedown. But just reaps the leg, but Felipe Efrien refuses to be taken down and hits a beautiful switch. What a reversal. That was beautiful to watch inside the open guard right now. Felipe. Nicolau has a foot on the hip. Efrien needs to be wary of up kicks here. He has his hand wrapped around the momentarily had it wrapped around. I thought he may have been going. Need to be careful here. There's potential for a reverse triangle. Excellent refereeing. Saw some fingers go through the fence. Oh! It's not allowed. He rocked him up with that up kick. stunned him. Body shots are cumulative. Another five seconds. His head will be clear. This is black belt level jiu-jitsu. He's opened up a big cut, I think, just on the hairline of Felipe Efrain. But what power of recovery from Felipe Efrien to eat the shot, get rocked, and then pop right back up. Oh, 
We saw momentarily just how dangerous the ground game is of Nicolau. Constantly looking for something, constantly switching up positions. Just listen to that Brazilian crowd. Unbelievable atmosphere here at Brave Combat Federation 25 in Belo Horizonte. I, I do want to say that you will die chant is usually used against international fighters. A little bit egalitarian to see it used Brazilian on Brazilian. Nicolau just beckons Felipe forward. It's almost as if he he knows that Felipe is going to throw that big shot and has a counter loaded. Ten seconds, Brave Nation. What can Felipe Efrien do from this position? Finishing strong, good, hard sprawl. Defending the single leg is Felipe Efrien and finishing with a couple of strikes of his own. Great round for Nicolau. Phil, can you walk us through what we're looking at here? That I have never seen before. <laughs> Simultaneous double flying jumping knee attack. A beautiful running double leg. But even before his backside had hit the canvas, Felipe Efrien was working on getting back up. Both men trading shots and finding spaces to land their shots and wearing them well. As I say, Felipe's defense is what's really impressive. He always has the hands ready to tuck up. And then we see Nicolau in on the single. Manages to trip the leg and from here we see momentarily just how dangerous he was. Had the body lock, was able to get that broomstick position but then beautiful transition, beautiful switch from Felipe Efrien. Carrick, this fight has absolutely everything. This is awesome. Big up Whoa! kick. That was beautiful. Third and final round in our co-main event of the evening here at Brave Combat Federation 25. Oh, Nicolau momentarily buckled the leg. Oh, switching stance there. He's hurt that leg. Kirik, he has hurt that leg. Forcing that leg's Felipe. hurt bad, and it's not going to feel any better by the end of this round. He forced Felipe Efrien to switch stances to shake out the leg. Mateus Nicolau should be zeroing in on that. I don't think he realizes just how much he hurt the leg of Felipe Efrien. can see he's still not able to put his weight on at 100%. And he's biting now on the feints that Nicolau's giving him on that leg. There's large physical bruising on that calf. And what I love about that kick, there it is again, buckles him with the leg kick. Felipe Efrien is hurting right now, but he's digging deep inside, showing that fortitude. Kerry Janess, he cannot take too many more of these leg kicks. He can take three more tops, I'd say. He's trying to kick with that leg. He can't kick with the injured leg. He can't kick with his other leg because now he's based on the injured leg. And there he can't set down behind his shots. He's not in a good spot. There you see the switching of the stance, which in mixed martial arts is a telltale sign that you have been hurt by leg kicks. Unfortunately, as you saw right there, you need those legs underneath you to land effective shots. Definitely. The power is generated from the hips, which are connected to the legs, and that's your base. Felipe no longer owns those legs completely. Another big chopping kick could signal something. Oh, thought about the kick, knew he wasn't allowed. Referee letting it go. Both these no men harm, are, no foul. Both these men are having a lot of fun in there, Kerry. So it's coming up to the midway point in our third and final round of what's been a really intriguing, intelligent battle between Felipe Efrien and Mateus Nicolau.
Very impressive to see Felipe Efrain getting some power in those shit loads kicks still. Swing and a miss. Oh, there it again. was. And a little bit of a limp. He's bound to know that he's hurt him. Big deep breath from Felipe. Very, very smart attack in the body now. Went low by accident, un completely unintentional. Fighters touched hands. Back trying to take each other's measure. Incredible hook, but when it was answered. What you can tell is both these guys have chins. They've both absorbed some hard shots and a beautiful double leg. But again, Felipe Efrain doing everything he can to get up. Mateus Nicola with the body lock. Could he go for that broomstick takedown? But now, chest to chest, face to face with Felipe Efrain, digging the head underneath the chin, trying to control that body. May try and look for a trip takedown. Good work from Felipe Efrain, and that cut on his hairline starting to open up a little bit more. Still, think about all the damage he's taken to the leg. Almost got knocked out with that up kick. He's still in this fight, 100%. Just eats a big straight. Oh, tried to go for the judo style trip, but ends up giving up his back. High risk, high reward, but he's not down yet. Piercing out so he can't be kneed in the head. Absolutely fantastic technique. Managed to get up. Not in any danger of being knocked out with a knee. Tries the Turned trip again. in, he did it again. What can Felipe Efrain do with 30 seconds left in the third and final round? Can he pull a rabbit out of the hat? Can he snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? Or can Mateus Nikolai hold it on? 10 second clapper. Nikolai seems happy just to ride it out. Nikolai tying up the head, holding up the arms, raising that fist to the crowd. Wow. And that fight's over. What a three round bottle, Kirik. Two brothers, arm in arm, walking around the ring. I oh, love to see that. Just, yes, these two guys have just been trying to best each other and end each other for three rounds, but the level of respect was, it was a constant theme throughout that fight, Kirik. What a fantastic fight. Great technique, great jujitsu, great striking, great sportsmanship. That is the kind of fight that embodies the entire ethos of Brave Combat Federation. An absolute joy to watch. A joy indeed. We're walking through some of that action. A little attempt at a broomstick takedown, and that could have been the best takedown we have seen in this entire event. Little leg lock attempt. Two fighters now tired, attacking at distance, and there is what may be what decided this fight. The calf kick, the low, low kick. That may be in the judges' eyes what decides this bout. We're gonna find out very, very shortly from the Los. Until the Roaring Lion enters the Brave Cage, we're going to continue talking about the action. Brave Nation, who do you think won this fight? I've got my ideas, but I am not a Kabma judge. I'm going to hold them to myself for now. We are very shortly going to get our answer. Carlos Kramer enters the Brave Combat Federation cage to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, what a co-main event. Give it up for both of these warriors. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 30-27 for your winner from Bella Horizons. That was absolutely the right call.